The kitchen is just off the dining room and is a relatively square room with two small rectangular rooms for the pantry and the utility room. Neither of which have been fully renovated yet, but we have upgraded the electrics at the same time as we did for the kitchen. When we first moved to the chateau, our excitement quickly faded into despair. It was the beginning of December and we had just discovered that the heating system didn't work and we were starting to wonder what on earth we had done. The kitchen we had inherited did not help, that's for sure. It was dark, depressing, and it had no workspaces, broken tiles on a sunken floor, and all the tiles and windows were brown. We had just moved from a brand new kitchen we had installed back in the UK, and that was only three months old when we sold the house, so going back to square one was taking a lot of getting used to. So, after 10 months of living with this kitchen, we'd reached breaking point and it was time to take action. So the crowbar came out and we began to remove the brown wall tiles. Even this simple action increased the light levels in the room and it spurred us on to do more. The floor had suffered immense water damage in the past and the earth underneath had sunk in places. We were forever tripping up over the dangerous tiles so it was time to lift them up and hold our breath until we discovered what was underneath. This was a job that Julian hated and although you can't hear it, he's really repeatedly swearing on this video clip. Although the fireplace looked somewhat rustic, it wasn't one solid piece but layers of wood trim. It wasn't original and was really fire damaged too, the extent of which was revealed when we'd taken down the facade. Once we had the tiles up, we went to work on creating a better sub-base for the new flooring and as in our last renovation, the chateau's walls are solid and they need to be able to breathe, allowing moisture to pass in and out of the chateau walls. It's essential that the floor is able to do the same. We've had experience of installing lime creek floors before, so we decided to choose this option again because it worked so well in the last house. has gone and we now have a lime creek floor. When you purchase a house in France it is a legal requirement by the sellers to have all the chimneys swept and provide a certificate to prove that this has been done and although we received a certificate from our notaire there is no way that the chimneys were swept before we bought the house despite not using the old stove in the kitchen the soot was forever falling down into the kitchen from the chimney so Julian got out our own brushes and as with everything here at the chateau we tackled it ourselves. It was then onto the plastering and it's amazing once you get new clean walls how much that lifts the space and we really started to get excited because it felt like we were actually making progress. We wanted to install a new fire surround to replace the fire damaged one and chose some green oak that Julian picked up from one of our local sawmills. Julian used a traditional technique to clean and shape the wood with a tool called a draw knife and on the 2nd of January this year Julian and a friend erected a pulley system using scaffolding and the power of our old VW van to pull the beams into place. It worked and the end result was amazing. floor tiles we wanted a traditional material that could breathe. Fortunately when we did our UK renovation we chose slate tiles for the kitchen and we over ordered so in our wisdom we brought them over to France with us in the removal truck and as luck would have it there was just enough for Julian to use for the chateau kitchen as long as breakages were kept to zero. 
Working with Slate isn't easy, so it was a bit of a gamble. However, Julian did an absolutely awesome job with very limited resources, as usual. The renovation of this kitchen has mostly been possible because of Julian's dedication to this project and a willingness to work out how to do things that he's never done before. He trusted my kitchen design and even made suggestions to improve it and has only complained a few times, honestly. Painting the ceiling, staining the beams, painting the walls, tiling the walls, fitting the opaline glass lights and upcycling vintage furniture were all jobs that were in addition to the fitting of the kitchen cabinets ovens, hob and extractor. Throw in all brand new electrics, stripping the doors and windows, renovating the door and window fittings and this was a massive task. In our last renovation project the kitchen was left until the very last job in an entire house renovation and this time we knew we wanted it done sooner rather than later. The last piece of the kitchen puzzle was for Julian to make the central island and fit the electrics into the side. With shadow overseeing work as usual and young children around him, he still made light work of this awkward task. So this is it, it's time for the reveal. Blood, sweat and tears has gone into this project. We hope you like it. <laughs>